Hello and welcome to your general reading for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Capricorn. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Janak. I'm not even in my own house. And how, how can you tell? It's tidy. <laughs> anyway, I'm at my friend's house, L.M. Cook. She has done all this beautiful artwork here, which is absolutely incredible. I cannot show it to you because it's 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 wet still, it's oil, it's so, so I can't really show it to you yet. But these imagery here, these artworks, will all be used in a card deck that we're working on, and the card deck will be about a deeper meaning of spiritual animal guides. So it has uh, my uh, description, my depictions of animal guides, and then your artwork. And we can't wait, and there will be a Kickstarter happening very, very soon, where you can pledge different things and all that. So it's going to be bloody awesome. And so watch out for this. The easiest way to do that is to actually uh, subscribe to the channel, which is very, very um, appreciated anyway. So what we will do here, we will look at the um, overall energy for the months of June 2022, for the sign of Capricorn before we go then before we then go into the emotional core see what can go emotionally or maybe there's love coming in right that sort of stuff before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June and opportunities for the most part are about things that sustain you financially right so that's uh, we're doing quite a lot so by, the, by the sounds of it and now we're looking at the overall energy for the month of June for the sign of Capricorn Capricorn. And remember, Capricorn can be a confused sign because you're depicted by three animals while you were not supposed to be. Just want to quickly share this because Capricorn is depicted by the goat. When Capricorn or the constellation of Capricorn came about, it was actually a sea goat that was depicted and eventually they just put a little tail on it which is supposed to be a fish's tail. right? So I think they messed it up and just changed it afterwards. <laughs> right? So the energy that we see the goat's energy is not necessarily any the energy that actually um, Capricorn has. Now, when you then go away from Western uh, astrology and you look at Vedic astrology, there is no goat or no sea goat. Capricorn is actually associated with the alligator. So it is important to understand that because your depiction is misleading, you have uh, the, the, the constellation literally has been mislabeled and then uh, everything under the sun was done to sort of make this less obvious. There is a good part of Capricorns at times where you feel lost easily. Um, and um, I just want to share this, sort of came to me to share this with you. Don't know if this comes up in the reading. I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise it's going to be a bit of a weird introduction. But um, it just came to me. It's just um, to explain this again, that there's a reason that you sometimes don't quite know who you are in the scheme of things, right? Let's have a look at the overall energy. The overall energy, the card that came out, uh, interesting since you mentioned alligators and uh, scaled creatures, for example, was the dragon card. Wow. Uh, which here is symbolising power. Now, Capricorns are quite often, you're very grounded, um, you, you're very stable, you're very earthy, you're kind of um, quite materialistic in some ways. But this is talking about personal power and overarching power to a certain extent. So. This isn't about material things or anything like that. This is about you finding your true self and stepping forward, stepping from behind all of those things that you've built for yourself, perhaps, and actually out and putting yourself and your personal power a bit more visible throughout the month. Um, and you'll find if you do that, then other things will unfold, unfold, uh, unfold, 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 unfold for you um, in a different way going forward. Obviously, Capricorn is very confusing because it's confused yes. my words completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit of a... To be fair, the energy here is also very intricate and yet overpowering. Um, it's the first time, uh, we call this a couple of, of signs together already, and it's the first time that I got three cards. It's quite a, quite a lot. And what you have is, interestingly, you have Death, Ground and Endure. And Ground is in the middle. That makes a lot of sense because, as you mentioned, you know, uh, Capricorns are a very grounded sign, and because in your when it comes to your emotional core, grounding or be grounded uh, or being grounded is the center of the messages here. When it comes to you figuring out where your life is going uh, in matters of the heart, um, you only find it out 
if your sounds a bit weird if your brain is not going into fancy corners right you not, not not don't try to make sense of everything just ground yourself and go with the flow because you have the death card as the incoming energy and that means that this will be a time june 2022 where it probably makes sense to assess what you are still carrying inside you could be trauma uh, from from this lifetime or another lifetime could be ancestral stuff could also just be um still some pain uh, from from a, from a relationship or something but but you have the death card so before you can properly move on um something has to come to an end and because the outgoing energy is endure energetically speaking that really denotes that this may not be the happy go lucky months with regards to emotions or capricorns but it also means that when you actually let go of things that are now ready to leave you and you will probably go into a healing crisis or healing response um, and uh, you have the, the term endure you will get through this and you will endure for however long you have to for however long it takes for this to be shifted but what is becoming clear here is that what the universe is asking you is to allow yourself to not be held back by old memories because they no longer serve you right that was the um the emotional core for the month of june 2022 for the sign of capricorn and now we're looking into the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of june and opportunities interestingly enough has also come out with three cards there you go. which again was the first time so yes capricorn you are this uh, definitely this this triple person thing going on yeah, here yeah. triple vision uh, the first card that came out was the Trust card, Crystal Caves. Um, we've also got Retreat and we've got Renewal. So there's kind of a cyclic thing going on here. You're going to have to, the very first card we had out was Power. Um, you're going to have to trust in your own personal power and the resources and everything that you have around you. You're going to have to trust that the universe can provide for you, even if things are a bit tricky. And as Thomas's reading showed as well, it, it, emotionally things might be a bit tricky. Yeah. And that's looking like the same on the opportunity side of things as well. The retreat. We have the sacred guardian, uh, sorry, the spirit guardian of winter. It's suggesting that you might need to kind of re not retreat into yourself, but take stock of what you have um, and set your boundaries so that you actually again you don't over overdo things you don't over exert yourself you don't overspend you manage to, to sort of keep that core of yourself safe and protected but the final card here the frog spirit of renewal means that actually there, there's something more to come at the end of this so that period of retreat that period of trusting the universe that period of retreating and taking stock will then lead on to a part where things will start flowing again for you so it all within the same month everything will renew again so you've got Basically, I think it's a, a bit of a case of bracing yourself for the start of the month and then as we get to the end of the month and we move further on into the year, things will start flowing and renewing themselves and actually it'll be a better place as a result of it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And you can tell Capricorns, you are also quite a demanding sign by the looks of it. <laughs> Don't take it personal. We only work it. Anyway, see you all next month. Bye-bye. <laughs>